I have a new addition to my mini device collection and I had to kind of drop everything I was just doing and talk about it and also take a look at it. That's pretty important too. So I already have a Sega Genesis Mini in my possession. So don't you think it makes sense that I get the Sega Genesis Mini too? I think so. I've heard great things about this device and I'm hoping that everything I've heard is true. Sega Genesis actually holds a special place in my heart because it was around my, I think, sophomore, junior year that I would actually sneak into my brother's room while he was working and I would play and then before he would get home, I would stop playing so I had to pause it and I would hope that nobody would come in and mess up my game because you know what happens back then when it was paused you lost everything if somebody turned that off. You had to start all over. But you know what they say, practice makes perfect and I had to start over quite a few times. This is actually where Sonic became an initial favorite for me. I had not yet picked up an SNES and I had not discovered Super Mario World. I had actually played NES at my cousin's house and while I really enjoyed those games when I picked up and played, they didn't grab me like Sonic did. And Sonic was almost like instantaneous. I absolutely loved it. So it hooked me right off the bat. Sega Genesis Mini 2 does come with 60 games and that does include two games that were unreleased as well. These games do come from the later years of the Mega Drive, including some from Mega CD and Sega CD. So let's get this opened because I really want to see if it's as great as everybody says and also I'm looking forward to seeing if it's as nostalgic as I think it's going to be. I think my knife might be getting dull. My little tips, keep <laughs> cut away from yourself. Oh look, I got paper. I'm so excited. Okay. Look how tiny this is. And that was a packing slip. Let's get rid of this box. And here we are, what I've been waiting to open. Okay, let's just look at the box. It's a mini take on the Sega Genesis system. Isn't it really cool how the box just matches the original box? I love it. And this is giving us a list of the games that are actually in the system. And this includes 60 classic and bonus titles. Ooh. And it is introducing Davy and Pie, Fantasy Zone, Spatter, Space Harrier 2, Star Mobile, or Star Mobile, Super Locomotive, VS Puyo Puyo Sun, if I am saying that correctly. And then, of course, list of the Sega games, Sega CD games, and all those fun things. And just some basic information on the outside of the box. Pretty cool. Let's get this open. Wow, <laughs> you think the box is tiny and then you actually open it and you look, this must be the system. Look how tiny that thing is. Okay, so we have the HDMI cable, lovely. And of course, the Sega Genesis. I love it, I love it. You have to, live in that era, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, look at that. That actually feels authentic. Wow, that D-pad though. Hm, nice. The USB cable. And of course, 
I just looked at this, I know. Oh, a power adapter. First of all, I just want to say that the quality is very surprising. It feels like it's a very nice material. It's not plasticky like where you can touch it and it breaks or push it in. It's really sturdy. Very nice. I'll listen to that. Mm hmm. And it has the six buttons. The very nice D pad that allows you to do all kinds of things there. And your start button. I think I'm going to like this actually. Oh, you have a mode button right here. So here's the Sega Genesis itself. And I just love the buttons. Look, you can even stick your finger in there. Have the HDMI slot, DC in slot. And of course, the basic information on the back. Sega Genesis 2 model 16310. And again, I mean, you could, you can hear me pushing on it, but I think because that's a little hollow inside, you hear that. But other than that, the material feels really good and it feels really sturdy. And it has all the really cool features that the original would have. So what I want to do is plug this in and I will play it and let's see how well it works. It looks good. It feels good. And so far I am happy with that part of it. What would really complete this is if it plays great. Before I do that, I just want to talk about how petite it is. It's super light. I mean, I would almost be afraid of it like just flying off if you move a cable. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really love the size. It's really a true mini device. Let me just uh, get everything plugged in and we will play a few of these games. Here we are. Let's play a couple of these games. I love the way it looks. I like the setup, actually. Oh, I love the setup, actually. That's pretty cool. Check out the bezel. <laughs> it's so funny because you get used to playing a certain way with other controllers. Trying to take the piggy all the way over there. Come on, piggy. Jump. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my word. This is pretty cool. The controller isn't working very well. And I, it feels like an original controller to me. Let's return to the main menu. I wanna take a look at the settings and see what we can do here. So you have screen settings, how you want your screen to look. Do you want to like fit the screen like widescreen or do you want to scale down a bit there? 
I'll keep it like this for a better feel. Okay. Let's go to wallpapers. I like this one. It's like playing on a regular TV. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's see, 16 bit. So Genesis 16 bit video entertainment system should have more of the original sound. Whereas I think the new compact design has a bit of a brighter sound to it, if you hear that. So let's see here. And also you can uh, go to the button settings and play with all of those, which I am not going to do. Okay, let's go to the games here. Let's play Sonic 3D Blast. Or should I play Sonic CD? I think I'll play that one. I've never played this one before, actually. Oh, booger snappers. So once I got my fingers to where it feels comfortable and more natural with the buttons, um, it plays pretty good. I still think my favorite is Sonic 1. But this is quite fun itself. I just have to get used to it. The, the controller does feel authentic. Uh, it works great. It feels great. Uh, the D-pad works really well. I think it's pretty excellent. It's very close to the original. So, so far, I haven't noticed any lag. Um, jumps when I wanted to jump, slows down, pulls back, rolls. So yeah, I don't think there's any noticeable lag here. It's playing very well. Oh, it looks like I got an oh, you turn. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Ring. Figured it out. <clears throat> oh, I took a second. Let's go try another game. What about one of the new games? There it is. Um, I believe this is one of those that were never released. Yeah, sure, I totally understand that. Start. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, sorry. Oh. Am I what am I what am I doing? Uh please explain what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, yay! After I figured it out, that's kind of cute. So that was pretty fun. 
first round. Let's go back to the main menu. I guess this way is easier to read the titles, but the other way looks much better. Let's play Streets of Rage. So far, the experience with controller is uh, pretty original. Playing the games is pretty original to what it felt like back then. I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference between the other mini and this. Unless you like to collect all of these minis, I don't know that there would be a major reason to go out and buy this if you have the other Sega Genesis mini. Um, that's just my opinion. I, I like how it has the CD games on here as well as some unreleased games. That is pretty cool. Uh, as far as needing at both of the systems, I, I don't think that's like a major, like, I'm having trouble fighting and there we go <laughs> and talking at the same time. Okay. But yeah, I don't think, if you have one, I don't think you need both. Unless you just want to collect all of them. But I love the sounds. And I think they've kept everything as original as they could, which um, I do appreciate that. That keeps that nostalgia going. And that's what we play these for because we love them. And that's that nostalgic feeling that takes us back in time. So as if they can keep it as close to those days as possible, that's the best thing, if you ask me. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Another crash and burn. First time on rookie. Really cool to see this because back then this was it. This was so cool looking. It looked so good to us back then. We kinda look at it now and we laugh a little bit because of what we have now, the clarity we have with all of our games now. But there's just nothing like looking back and seeing what games we used to play and what they look like and how advanced they were back then and things like that so so this is called sewer shark i think that's what it said and basically you're going through a sewer and you're killing all the stuff down in there getting rid of all the unwanted stuff haha <laughs> i gotcha haha <laughs> And if you can hear the, the sounds <clears throat> and the music and everything, it sounds so much like what we used to hear back then when we played the games. It's probably not perfectly to what it was, but it's very close. The experience is good. The experience is nostalgic. The sounds, the feel of the controller, the way the games play, everything throws you back in the days of your childhood or your high school days. And that's what this is predominantly meant to do, I think. And I love the look of the console itself. It's so tiny. It just, it's really adorable. And the controller is great. The materials, they seem like they're decent quality. I mean, not the best quality, obviously, but the quality is very good. And this thing is so light. I definitely recommend this if you do not have the first Sega Genesis Mini. If you do have it, I wouldn't say that you absolutely need to get this, but if you love to collect the mini consoles, I don't see why you wouldn't get this. I guess it's basically up to your preference. What do you want to do? Do you want to collect these? Do you want to play all of the games? Do you want these games? Do you want access to these games that have never been released? 
it's all in what you want out of your experience with these consoles. I have both actually and I don't mind having both but not everybody wants to have everything. So I would say if you have one you probably could skip out on getting this. It is fun. It is a nice experience that throws you back you know. If you like collecting them get another one. This is interesting. <laughs> I love this one. It's so fun. Hey, I lost my money. Let me get that back. Oh, buggers. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fun. I love it. Bonanza Brothers is what it's called. There are a lot of fun games on here. Like I said, it's all preference. If these are the games you want to play, buy this thing. You get a nice gamepad with it, too. They do allow you to go in and change some settings, which is pretty cool and honestly I do love this. It's pretty cool. It's not my absolute favorite thing but I have heard great things about this and I was hoping that what I heard would be true and I think for the most part the good things I heard about this are in fact true. I'm sure other people who are more particular than I am probably have more cons about it than I do. But for me, I want the experience of a pretty close to original experience picking up and having fun. That's what this does for me. I'm actually curious how many of you have this and how many of you are thinking of getting it and how many of you have the first one and are thinking of getting this one. How many others are going to pick this up even though they have the first one like I did? I think for me, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I'm having the experience with it. I am happy with the quality of the Sega Genesis Mini 2 and I'm glad it's not some cheapo plastic thing that feels like it's going to fall apart if I play it too often. So I would really like to hear your thoughts on this. What was your experience? What you think about it as well? That is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do share this with your friends. And also, you can hit like and subscribe as well. I will see you next time. As always, have a game-tastic day in a very nostalgic way.